Hey guys, today I wanna to talk about managing your knee pain. And I'm gonna show you a couple things that work for me and um, they're super easy to do. All you, you're gonna need is a lacrosse ball and a foam roller, which you should already own. <laughs> Maybe not the lacrosse ball, but the foam roller. Definitely something you want to have, a tool that you want to have at home um, and use often every day. Five minutes, ten minutes, you don't need a lot of time, but super effective in managing pain and uh, just, you know, really making sure that you're taking good care of your body. So, basically, what I want you to understand about foam rolling, the quads, IT bands, even into the, the soleus, the gastrocnemius, down into the calf, um, in terms of managing any kind of joint pain is that you're mobilizing the tissue around the joint So you're not going to be Foam rolling the, the soft tissue the ligaments tendons. Um, you're not going to be foam rolling the bone Although you will feel feel that muscle pushing up against the bone uh, which tends to create that painful sometimes debilitating um, Sensation that makes you want to jump right off but what, what it does is it, it creates more freedom of movement. So when you do go to squat, run, jump, whatever, whatever it is that you're doing in your program, that tissue is moving freely. It's not bound up with adhesions and tension, thus putting more stress on the knee joint or the hip joint or the ankle. Um, what it's doing is, it is, is literally it's just opening up space in that area and allowing the knee to function the way it should be functioning and allowing muscle tissue to contract and work you know, as efficiently as it should be. So you're mobilizing the tissue around the joint. You're not rolling on the joint, rolling on the bone. That, that's not at all what you're doing. In fact, you can't even really get to those points in the body, but it's, it's pushing into the muscle, relaxing the muscle, essentially stretching that muscle and allowing it to lengthen optimally, function more efficiently and reduce, manage, and in most cases really just prevent you know, any sort of pain or um, repetitive injury buildup. So I'm gonna show you a couple moves that really work well for me when I start getting my knees get beat up running and jumping and things like that. A lot of repetition, lunging, things like that you're doing over and over again tend to build up this tension and a little bit of stiffness and pain in the knee. And what I'm gonna show you really is only gonna take five minutes, maybe 10 minutes out of your day. And it should be done every day. Um, I definitely recommend little bouts of, you know, of foam rolling here and there. Um, you can certainly take 20 to 30 minutes to foam roll your entire body every single day. It's really up to you, but it, this is something you wanna include into your program, prioritize, um, and you really reap the benefits. It's truly something that everybody's capable of doing on their own. So I'll show you a couple tips here. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'm happy to help. All right, guys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the foam roller, working on the IT bands here, and you're just going to come onto your side in kind of a side plank position. And you're going to put the foam roller, I like to start actually right above my knee or mid quad, depending on how sore I am. And I'll roll from my knee, looking for the most painful area, all the way up to my hip. And kind of go back and forth, I'll do a couple rolls typically. When I find that sore spot, I'm just going to sit on it, just like that. So now switching on over to the quad, I like to start again right by the knee. It's typically where I have a lot of pain and tension. Com coming on down onto the forearms, get the foam roller centered. Again, I'm just gonna roll from the knee, mid quad up into the hip area. Um, again, depending on where I feel the most tension and pain. And then you're just gonna sit on it. You're just gonna hold it there and this is the most uncomfortable part for most people, is the holding and the pressing into the tissue and, you know, just a, allowing that muscle to start to relax. But this is really the most important part is just taking that time to search for the discomfort of the, the pain and then to, you know, hold that, breathe, focus, and work out some of that mess you got going on the, in the quad and here's where you're going to improve your mobility in that tissue mobilizing that tissue releasing some tension on the knee so this is just really really important you can do this for a few minutes before your workout after your workout I recommend more time on off days just to get some work on the tissue so what also I'd like to pay attention to um, the uh, area right above the the knee joint there that patellar tendon area 
you know, get the lacrosse ball in there. And you're going to do the exact same thing here. Now you're just on a ball. But because of this ball being much smaller than a foam roller, it's really going to get into some different areas and, and things the foam roller can't get to. So you're just going to relax your, your leg onto the floor. Again, you're in this plank position here, maintaining good posture in your upper body, holding onto your, you know, in the floor with your forearms. Your other leg over there is just supporting you, so it's kind of giving you a little bit of uh, control and allowing you to stay stable. And I then will switch over into the lower leg, so into the calf there, working on the gastrocnemius, down into the soleus, exactly the same thing. You're putting pressure on the lacrosse ball. Um, I will actually rotate my my calf from side to side. I'll flex my foot, point my toe, really searching for the most painful area. And personally, this area for me can be really, really uncomfortable, which tells me I need to work it more. And then I'll switch over to the foam roller, just trying to get a little bit broader of an area of the calf. And when this area gets tight, it actually limits your range of motion in a squat, which can can again put a lot of tension and discomfort in the knee joint. So I'll work from Achilles all the way to the back of my knee there, I turn my leg, um, just again hunting for that pain, you know, trying to find the best way. So there you go.